Hey guys, what's up? This is your old friend, AA Nick fan. Did I save? Okay, 86 health. Seems I'm at close to maximum. <laughs> it is 9.40 p.m. Very late. I was gonna go to sleep like 40 minutes ago. But here we are. So I'll probably make this video really short and then I'll make a really long video tomorrow. Today in school, it was not perfect. Far from it. <laughs> this time I really have to make sure not to lose health on the way there. Because I'm going to be fighting an Omega Metroid and I'm so scared. I remember them being tough, but um, then again, I didn't have the Varia back then, so there's that. <laughs> Stop it! Oh, I've got the screw attack, let's not forget. Okay. Here we have some lava. Yep. So wait, so where am I? Oh, I'm here. Okay, now. Oh my god, I can't believe this. This is crazy. <laughs> A simple alpha metroid. So easy. Now here's the weird part though. I think what you have to do is actually just do a repeat. It's really weird. You have to... Okay, it's really weird. Yeah, I know. I know what's gonna happen. It's gonna raise. It's gonna... Yes. Oh my god, I'm trapped! I'm trapped! Crazy. Am I ready for this? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be fine. Now I'm wondering, should I play Metroid 1? Let's play it. Like, I remember that game, it was fun, but was it really? I think at one point I had to do a lot of grinding, because I died at the final boss, so it might be too difficult for me to play again. Oh my god, it's an Omega! I'm so scared. So this was pretty much my entire strategy. Just like doing this. 
Like that. Yep. This seems like a pretty fine strategy. Oh my god. See, this is working fine. Holy shit. Okay, that actually wasn't that all that difficult. That was fine. I could probably take them out, take two of them out in one hit, in one health batch. I didn't lose half my health there. Lost less than half. But here's the annoying part. Actually, it would probably be more efficient for me to now go fight an Omega Metroid. I'm not gonna do that though. I'm gonna head back because I don't wanna take no risks. I mean, it's no risk because there's a save point there, but I feel like maybe I wouldn't be able to do it with this amount of health, in which case it would be a total disaster if I turns out I can't do it, and then I have wasted a bunch of time and I have to go all the way back would just take a lot of time, and besides, I'm a big spokesperson for, you know, if I can do it, then shouldn't I do it, you know, in like Pokemon and stuff, how, <coughs> if it's possible to grind to level 100 or whatever, if it's possible to do all the grinding, you know, then theoretically, you know, I should be able to do it right, and like, I don't need to prove it, so I can use rare candies, that's how I justify using rare candies. Pretty much what I'm trying to say here is this game has bad level bad bad game design here in this part. This is the part I was talking about. We're gonna be going back and forth. And I guess some really good player wouldn't have to do that, but the point is that it's available to go back to get to health. Which means that well I'm gonna be doing it. It's just a waste of time. If they didn't expect me to backtrack, then they shouldn't have let me backtrack. If they didn't want me to backtrack, they shouldn't have let me. Now, what they should have done is put health points, health refills, more throughout the game, in, f in more spots, like at save points, for instance. That would fix this whole issue. I mean, it doesn't have to be at every safe spot, but in that last area, there should be a save. There should be a health refill there. There's no excuse for there not being one there, because all it does is, if the player needs or if the player wants a refill, then the player's gonna have to head all the way back. And you could say, well, well, that kills the incentive to go back. Well, no, it doesn't. Because I'm still going to be putting in the time here, see? I'm wasting my time. <laughs> and uh, by the way, it wasn't just me who taught, who actually kind of, um, I was watching a Metroid 2 video, and that person complain about that thing here with the last area like how you have to head back and forth so I wasn't the only one who had trouble with that so I wasn't the only one who had a problem with that you know the first time playing it I was like oh why do I have to go all the way back this is and then come to find out I wasn't the only one thinking that but since it's 9 49 p.m. right now I feel like I have to shut it off here I'll just hit the 10 minute mark and, and, and peace out. Huh. <laughs> also, um, I saw on Quora today something about like Venice, Italy, like the water, someone complaining about Logan Paul going into the water. So I watched the source material video and let me tell you, it was actually pretty terrible. 
like, what the frick are you doing, Logan? And Jake, like, why are you guys bathing in this water you're not supposed to? So disrespectful. <laughs> I have a harder time. Eh, I don't know. I was gonna say something about the suicide forest, but... Uh, I don't know what to feel about that, really. Like... Hmm... It's like, I don't want to agree with the majority here, but... I kinda have to. I'll be going to sleep, and I'll wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow. <coughs> that is the plan, anyway. Oh, don't lose health. I'm gonna be facing an Omega, or two. I should, I should do two at a time. Give me some health. Ugh, that's not much anyway. As if that'll be the difference. Well, it might be actually. Close calls. In fact, at this rate, I might as might actually have time for another Mega Metroid in this video. Um, okay, we're almost there. There might even be some enemies in this corridor I can grind off of if I need some extra juice. Like here, maybe. Is this really gonna be empty? Not that I'm complaining really, but... Well, I guess it would be kind of nice to have some critters to grind on. Okay, which one shall I do first? Well, the answer is obvious, isn't it? Actually, no. Well, I'll do this one first anyway. Not... I don't really think it matters. Now we're getting a... Flashback to Metroid 1 here. Except this time you're not screwed if you fall in. You can just get out. Well. I'm scared. Let me try to lose as little health points as possible so I can hopefully do two in a row. Oh god. This is my strategy. A what? Come on, more, more power. Yeah! Oh, that was... Shit! I lost barely any! I can do all three. I can do all three. With this health. Oh, Dude. I only... That only took me, what? Like, a fifth of my health? Or... Like... Or what was that? Like, maybe, uh... Yeah, like a fifth of my health, wasn't it? Or a sixth or something, I can't really tell. That m layout menu is kind of confusing there. The 
at the bottom there. It's kind of confusing. Okay. Well, let's continue. I'm just gonna go get to the ne near next save point. Um, I can show you. Down here is the next lava place. It's interesting how Metroid, how this game, what, like how you don't want to become a ball. So what you do is you start moving. You 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 press the joy, you press the D-pad after you start jumping, rather than when you start jumping. Because if you do when you start jumping, you are you transform into a ball. But if you do it after you start jumping, then then you're in regular form. See, that's kind of interesting. How the game makes you subconsciously choose to do that. Or I guess it's not really subconsciously. Anyway, goodbye. It is 9.55. And I forgot that I have to upload this too, so... Well, I guess I could do it tomorrow. Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow.